the mistake so family sky goddess this video is about the full moon that is approaching which will be transiting the frequency of Scorpio that's gonna be April 27 okay yes Martis ruled by Ares or uh, more commonly known as Aries the God okay uh, he rules the underworld you know with Hades okay um, some people believe they are two and the same. Some people be, um, believe they're two different entities, but you know, you know, bearing similar um, purposes. And I'm gonna tell you why, because after each ending or a death, there is a new beginning that is, you know, as a result of that. And Aries represents new beginnings because that's the baby of the zodiac, the first frequency. And Scorpio uh, is um, transformation. That represents transformation, right? So anything that's transformative, that's Scorpio. So that in, in includes also inheritances, um, death, and because um, the death brings in um, brings about inheritances and um, wealth and um, desires. They transform over a period of time as well. So, um, it's going to be on a uh, Tuesday, which is ruled by Aries the God, okay? So, that's a synchronicity there between Aries and Scorpio. Um, this is going to be the 27th of April, 2 and 7, that's a 9, that's completion. And like I said, you know, after that um, transformation, then the end, and, you know, following that, a new beginning. So, it's an, a nice arraignment of frequencies for this full moon that is approaching. Moving on to, you know, the other frequencies that are abounding. Sun in Taurus, that, you know, the, the sun frequency started to transit that frequency of Taurus, the ox, the bull, which you, we are in that frequency here being influenced by Leo, right? And with, you know, the sun, which is actually Earth, I already talked about that in them other videos, okay? This, you know, the sun in Taurus is simply saying the second house and that Taurus frequency, they're taking center stage, okay? They are, you know, receiving spotlight because that's the sun. It's a very revealing frequency, which is, you know, the opposite of Cancer, which is the moon. So there's also a correlation between Cancer and Leo being opposites in terms of the actual celestial bodies they're represented by. The sun and the moon, they, they invert each other. All right? One rules the night, one rules the day. Of course, we know that Leo and Aquarius, they are, you know, twin flame opposites. And um, uh, Cancer and Capricorn, they're twin flame opposites. All right? In terms of the size of frequencies that could possibly get along, though being different, and you know, each of these, you know, um, twin flame frequency signs, they, they, though they may get on each other's nerves, if you know, they come together, they create the perfect blend of energies that you know is very powerful enough to, to you know, aid humanity in transcending. It's all about working together with you know what goes well with us, what can go well with us, you know, for the, you know, benefit of the tribe of humanity. So, the sun in, in Taurus, uh, Taurus frequency um, concerns um, would be like family, um, most specifically for a lot of you grandparents, okay, or a grandfather. Um, authoritative figures as well so you know a lot of people their prestige is going to be affected um families are going to be affected by this transformation this full moon in scorpio that is approaching um people people's work okay um people's you know physical appearances and form people's beauty okay what people value as well okay people's possessions so people could be losing a lot of uh, uh, possessions um during and um and around the full moon in scorpio 
um, a lot of theft, a lot of um, inheritances will be issued out as well as um, a lot of debts that will usher in a lot of inheritances later on in the year. Um, I am getting that, you know, these inheritances, they're going to come sudden as well as these thefts, these transformations, they're going to happen so quick and sudden. Um, <laughs> oh, three times, Sila. I'm blessed and favored. More like you. <laughs> okay, tying the full moon in Scorpio with Mercury currently transiting Taurus, and now Mercury is our or you know thoughts as well as our you know speech because it's all about communication and communication is not always verbal it's sometimes expressive and some sometimes thoughtful and so um for the mercury to be trying for mercury to be transiting um taurus it simply means that our minds and our communications are going to be um solely or mostly um in regards to the sun placement and you know the other abounding frequencies so this all and also you know the second house frequency and whatever the second house represents so that represents you know systems this could be social media systems family systems security systems uh, political systems um, medical systems uh, judiciary systems um, work systems um, possessions, insurances, any kind of system, okay, as long as it is a system, schools, okay, churches, okay, um, just the whole, and the whole physical world is being impacted, all right, because Taurus is that physical aspect, the, the physical manifestation of something, okay, Aries is, mag is the magician, and they manifest Taurus, okay, um yeah babies they manifest families all right babies they create families okay or they add it to families or they take for some from families um yeah it's true because taurus also embodies loss because it's ruled by demeter that goddess who you know in 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 in, in a varying frequency embodies loss right so a child I, I always heard people say you know a child can make or break a relationship make or break a marriage and I'm gonna just extend that to say make or break a family because sometimes child's birth you know um, can be you know detrimental to the mother's uh, health and life and you know a lot of women have died during child's birth um, also um, if they didn't take a life then you know it's the opposite they added life and so they would be an additive so and Taurus is all about I have you know family and systems and all of that too beauty and and you know standards status quo that's Taurus you know tradition okay so sudden we can see sudden physical transformation in terms of traditions and norms and values and morals and families and beauties and people's work, people's prestige, physical form, possessions, all of that Taurus frequency. And you know, I'm gonna I'm go into what I wrote down. Let me just, just say this. So a lot of thought and communication are in and around that Taurus frequency. So you could be communicating a lot um, you will be communicating, you know, a lot um, about your family, whether this is thinking about your family, talking about your family. This could also be um, you thinking about work, talking about work. You thinking about your beauty, you talking about your beauty. Um, this could be you um, thinking about your possessions, what you have or you don't have. Um, this could also be you thinking about um, a form of system. This could you be thinking about uh, social media because that is you know Taurus in the third house that's Mercury and Taurus this could be you thinking about a text 
thinking about texting someone um you know um this could be you also thinking about your work on social media all right uh, maybe some of you also there's gonna be you know a major sudden transformation or explosion on social media and like I said a lot of roles are gonna be reversed okay a lot of people who have been down and out and under they are gonna receive um, a, a exposure so we can expect to see a lot of new stars new sudden rising and up upcoming stars you know you may have a social media account and it's just gonna just fucking go viral just like that overnight okay or it could be one of them days surrounding the full moon could be two to three days prior to the full moon or two to three days after the full moon all right because you know each frequency pulls on you know it affects the one the frequency before and after it all right and you know the freak that's to keep them rippling their effect to you know it's that connectivity that invisible connectivity um, of connecting each frequency to the next all right so a lot of talk a lot of communication um, family work your beauty opportunities your possessions some of you may get excessively paranoid about around this time because you know Scorpio is that frequency of fear so a lot of you could have an increase in fear you feel me whatever your fear is you know get your natal chart read okay so an increase in fear because the full moon is like a cup being full and Scorpio represents death inheritances fears yeah, PTSD. If you you if you if you've got PTSD, you can expect to see a rise in you know um your PTSD symptoms. Okay, because it's time for that shit. Okay, uh, unless you want to heal yourself to save yourself from that dilemma, right? So a lot of paranoia as well. Also, um. Gossiping on social media, okay. We could be dealing with a lot of that gossiping on social media. We could deal with you know a lot of cheat that's been going on that's gonna get exposed. A lot of frauds and scammers and cheats that are on social media. They're gonna get exposed, okay. So you know strong focus on the family and social media as we are in the age of Aquarius of science and technology astrology and a lot a lot a lot to do with astrologers and intuitives on social media okay there's gonna be a major transformation okay when which you know um, a lot of these astrological services intuitive services are concerned Aquarius, you know, and you know, which is a water bear ushering, you know, intuition. But you know, a lot of things gonna be happening, you know, and suddenly as well. I'm getting also to, you know, a lot of things being exposed on social media, you know, a lot of, you know, sex videos, sex tapes, um, a lot of, you know, you know death of celebrities and stars we've already you know seen that happening and that's like more than two, two to three days prior to the full moon okay but expect even more of that um going on to venus in taurus because venus started its transit in taurus april 14 right sun started its you know transit in Taurus April 19 as well as Mercury uh, so we've got three planets three planets now transit in Taurus as I speak uh, we'll go on to more okay so we Venus that's what we value okay and value is now being placed upon systems beauty physicality uh, environment nature because Gaia is also you know Gaia that earthy uh, earth frequency okay it's actually the earth okay Virgos they tend to the earth but Taurus is the earth Capricorn 
is what's built upon the earth. Okay, so Capricorn is the least natural of the earth signs, but nonetheless, it still needs the earth to build upon. So Capricorn, too, is an earth sign. But, you know, Taurus is that natural beauty, natural physicality. All right, so there's going to be value placed upon natural beauty, okay, natural forms, okay. A lot of, you know, I... I I did make a video, but I took it down from my Instagram because I felt like the way in which I delivered that message, you know, seemed as though I was a very hateful person, which I am not. Um, I love beauty, but I'm more for the natural beauty. I like when things naturally occur. That's how I see the real uh, authenticity of it, and I appreciate authenticity a lot, being strongly influenced by that Aquarius frequency. Right, but I do believe in natural beauty. The way in which the world was headed, it was you know a lot of fake beauty, and people they felt you know um, they felt proud, and it's really a, what they value, you know, it's just what they value, and I shouldn't hate, but it's sad that you value you know life or yourself in such a way, or you see beauty in such a you know broken way. You know, and a lot of these, you know, procedures that people get done um, just to look beautiful, it's going to, you know, have detrimental, long-lasting uh, repercussions in their lives, like plastic surgery in the sense of, you know, implants. These things, you know, over time, because they did not naturally um, grow or, you know, occur within the body, they were, you know, manipulated and, you know, dislocated and, you know, relocated into certain areas, it's going to cause, you know, a series of ramifications such as, you know, tissue poisoning, you know, and, you know, especially with, you know, the breast implants, you know, about the breast implants when which they, they put in the silicone in the breast. And, you know, a lot of people have bad experiences with them stuff but you don't see them stuff being highlighted because the, the the aim is you know where plastic surgery is at now is just to make money it's not really to help people plastic surgery is good but to the, to those who you know whether they got injured in, in a fire or whether they got injured um um in, in um mutilated in some way shape or form um Plastic surgeries for them. They weren't born mutilated. They weren't born burnt, you know But we've got people, you know, who are not mutilated, not burnt, you know, who just feel like They shouldn't have that nose. They should have a different nose. They shouldn't have that uh, Small, you know, pair of boobs. They should have large balloons, you know They shouldn't have that, you know, nice neatly shaped butt. They should have a very huge voluptuous one you know, and that's just really being ungrateful. If that's not being ungrateful, I don't know what being ungrateful is, you know. And we are now, you know, the frequencies, they are very important. And if you do not subdue to them, yield to them, you know, the ramifications are all the more worse. And so we are entering a, we are in that uh, frequency where, you know, beauty is natural okay it's not fake it's not the whole bunch of you know makeup uh the plastic surgery is getting done the you know the masking of the real and authentic you because you uranus i was about to get to that after venus uranus it is you know um transit that's like no i'm i'm gonna not say yeah we do we got Uranus as well as the 11th house transiting Taurus. And so that is telling you that authenticity is the new standard of beauty. All right. So people who are, you know, masking their authentic selves, you know, their authentic beauty. You're not considered beautiful under, you know, the current prevailing frequencies right now because it's not just
Venus transiting Taurus. It is also Uranus, that big, you know, huge, impactful, you know, celestial body because it's big, and it 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 doesn't transit the frequencies so quickly as Venus. Okay, let me let me just tell you how how long before you know Uranus shifts a frequency. I don't want to guess and give you guys. Oh, I was thinking seven. Seven years. Look at that. Seven years to, you know, move from one frequency to the next. Okay? And it's going to be in the frequency of Taurus until the year 24 uh, to, you know, 26. I need to get certain about these dates. But the point of the matter that I'm trying to get to you um, is that, you know, this change is going to become a new norm because that's where Taurus is. Okay, it's going to become a new norm. Uh, and, you know, this new standard of beauty is the new norm. And it is calling for authenticity, which is people, you know, being their pure, authentic selves. Okay? And if it is that you wear makeup, try not to be excessive in your makeup because, um, we're strongly impacted by the frequencies and it doesn't matter how you were before under these frequencies you are different all right changes in the skies results in changes in our lives whether you all want to admit that yes or no but you know you guys will see the evidence of you know uh these conversations you know that i'm having you know with you played out you will see so you know I'm going to say till you know, 2025. I guess that's why I put 24 to 26. Because it started its transit, you know. Uh, oh, that's why I put 26. It was 2018 to 2019 that it started its transit in, you know, Taurus. Alright, so it's going to be there to 2025 to 26, okay? And so that's very long lasting. And there are life lessons to learn where authenticity is concerned because that's where Capricorn is right now. Learning to be authentic, learning to be different. All right, I've been telling people, but they thought I was weird. And um, you know why you got to learn to be authentic? Because that's where Jupiter is at right now. Jupiter is, you know, blessings are in authenticity right now. That's the season we're in. No time for fake shit, fake bitches, fake niggas, hell is this, fake ninjas, fake biatches, alright? And so, you know, with the life lessons being in Uranus and, you know, in Aquarius and Uranus, you know, that Aquarius physical form, it, 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 it's in Taurus. So that tells you that, you know, these life lessons, they're going to be for a while. Because it's going to take a, 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 a while before people... Um, start loving themselves. This takes, you know, a lot of them um, isolating, not being influenced by outside opinions, okay? Whether the media, peers, associates, their jobs, their work, because a lot of them are going to be losing these toxic jobs, these jo toxic work that they're doing, okay? A lot of transformation for the stars and the celebrities, okay? Hollywood, fame and stardom just ain't the same anymore. Nor will it. Okay? Now, people there are just always talking about, oh, they can't wait for things to go back the way they were. No! Stop torturing yourself because it's not going to. Change is the only thing that's constant. Prepare yourself for change by being open to change and stop being so re reluctant. You're only hurting yourself. These celestial bodies, these frequencies, they're not feeling anything. You're the one who's being hurt or abused by your own self. By fighting and resisting the frequencies, going against the flow. It hurts when you go against the flow. That marriage that you're supposed to leave, it's going to destroy you. Because you're refusing to end it. You know, the frequency says it's time to love ourselves and to leave people situated situations, work, jobs, families, 
that, you know, do not serve our highest good. It's a time that for some, you're going to seem selfish because that's a seemingly, you know, aspect of Aquarius, but it is them loving themselves and wanting the best for themselves, you know, wanting to ascend spiritually, to usher in intuition. They're the water bearer. So they naturally choose themselves over everybody else, okay? And we're being called to, you know, do that, okay? And once you love yourself and choose yourself above everybody else, you will find that you will subcon subconsciously, automatically choose everybody. Because in you loving yourself, you will do what's right for everybody else as well. There's such a beautiful synchronicity in the in terms of the frequencies, I'm telling you. You know, um, Neptune is in its own frequency, but we got, you, you know, Uranus in Taurus, 11th house in Taurus. The 12th house in Gemini, which, you know, Pisces reduced, is Gemini. So, you know, it's like, you know, it's sort of synchronized inversion. I don't know how you can decipher that. Um... Life lessons in science, we see that because these, you know, viruses that are popping up, more to come, that's why I said viruses, they are teaching us to appreciate science and knowledge because Aquarius is, I know, knowledge, all right? So everything is everything. So once we learn our life lessons about being authentic, about appreciating science, astrology, I was just saying a while ago, a lot of people who are Christians and religious, they are going to be transformed and changed because they're going to realize that their religion, it makes no sense. Their religions, they're nonsense, okay? So once we learn to be authentic, to trust ourselves, not these religions, not these systems, okay, including families, right? Appreciating science, being authentic. All right, detaching and going with the flow, trust in spirit. I mean the real spirit, not one that your twisted, imbalanced mind, you know, created. All right? Then we will see, you know, sudden blessing. Because Jupiter is currently in Aquarius. Maybe there will be cures that will be found during this period. You know, but it is only if people start to appreciate that frequency that, you know, will bless us with the knowledge to discover these spirits. And so these Jupiter lessons, what Jupiter and Saturn transiting Aquarius and Uranus transiting Taurus means to me is that these life changes, these Jupiter, these rewards, these lessons, these blessings, they are going to be long-lasting. Because Uranus is in the Earth. Uranus is in Taurus. It's going to become, become a new tradition, a new way of life for us. Moving on to Pluto in Capricorn, because we've got that, you know, um, we've got... Aquarius in the 8th house. So that's transformation, but certainly transformation. Alright? So these families, these systems, you know, social media, um, what physical forms, beauty, these are going to suddenly change. It's a transformation. Scorpio and Aquarius, they're similar, along with Leo and along with Virgo. Let me tie the connection again. Aquarius is sudden change. Unexpected. Leo is timely change. Expected change. Like the seasons. We expect summer to roll in when it's going to roll in. Okay? And so on and so forth. Though the seasons seem to be shifting. But you get the gist. Um, so that's Aquarius and Leo. 
Scorpio, it's a transformative change. Okay? This 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 is something that happens because something else happened. Aquarius changed. Nothing else got to happen. It, it, it don't have to be triggered by anything else. Okay? Maybe Leo in between that Scorpio and Aquarius, you know, timely change because, okay, spring has reached its max. Okay? So it's time for summer. You know, that kind of, you know, change. But Scorpio, this is deep. And for this deep change to be in such a, you know, cemented concrete earth sign, it's, it's, it's so long lasting too. And with the transits, you know, the, the, how long the duration of the Pluto transit, it's, it's even more long, long lasting. And Pluto, it, it's transit, you know, is, you know, let me just say in between 12 to 15 years. Let me just say that. But, you know, it's a time, like I said, a very humbling, you know, time. Because right now there's going to be strong desire for wealth, for work, for jobs. And we see that because a lot of jobs are coming to an end. You know, also with that Uranus in Taurus, 11th house in Taurus. Okay. Saturn, you know, in Aquarius. Jobs being suddenly ending. So Pluto, you know, says something, you know, jobs being transformed, right? That's what Pluto says. Um, Capricorn. Okay, wait. So you ask the question, let me rephrase that. You ask the question, okay? You see Pluto's transit in Capricorn. Someone asks the question. Someone makes a statement. They ask the question afterwards. They make the statement. Pluto's, you know, transit in Capricorn, right? So there's going to be a transformation in the workplace, jobs. Family's just the same, okay? Um, parents, you know. And then, you know, you ask the question. But how, you know, how is this transformation going to take place? And then Capricorn now, being that, you know, frequency that is being changed and being influenced, it knows its ins and outs, it answers you suddenly. And that's the connection between Pluto transiting Capricorn and uh, transiting Capricorn and, you know, Saturn transiting Aquarius. So that's the connection. There's going to be, you know, it's a time, you know, to gain wealth by using the, the, the knowledge that we, you know, we've got. Because that's where, you know, Jupiter is. It's in knowledge. I already told you guys that. Um, there's, and therefore, the workplace is being transformed because what you're hired um, on is just being debunked and transformed. A lot of injustice was in the workplaces, people, you know, being hired because they're friends or they're relatives of people who work in these, you know, corporations and companies rather than because they're competent. And when you, you know, get to the nitty gritty, you know, even the homeless man on the street is more qualified than some of these people. And that is changing. Right now, Ninja, you got to know or you got to go. Okay? It's not about you being family or a friend. There's no friend in this 12-year cycle. There's no friendship business. Sila. Okay? Friendships, yeah. But decisions, business decisions, they're not going to be made based off of friendships. So if you're, you know, close to someone who's going to seemingly make it, and you think that you're a friend and you're going to scrounge off of them without... You know, being an investor or, you know, assisting them, think again. Because it's also a time to be smart. And, you know, for those who are not still stupid, you know, they're smart. Let me tell you. And so people are very skeptical about their monies right now. For this 12-year transit, at least. Very skeptical. 
and it's going to flow over into the third 12 year. Let me just tell you that. I did say in one of them videos that, you know, there's going to be a lot of eloping, a lot of sudden marriages, a lot of people just suddenly coming, you know, out of the blues. Could be exes, could be, you know, people claim they got crushes on you. It could be, you know, um, someone you're with, you know, could just be a new love interest or something. Some, you know, a lot of, you know, um, love offers. But I'm telling you, most of these are not authentic. Some will be authentic in which the person, you know, they've got something to offer in return, right? One which both will, you know, be in a mutualistic relationship, but it is still financial. So a lot of business marriages are going to be taking place. Okay, so a lot of people, they're just going to get married right now for comfortability and, you know, um, financial stability. Right, because right now the systems they're being suddenly changed and you know transformed and collapsing for you know for some for the most part, and you know a lot of people are fearful and terrified, uh, especially where money is concerned, you know, making ends meet. Which I don't fucking see why, as long as you got land, you don't need to worry about food, just plant you up some shit, right? But I guess most of you are worried about not being able to party to be frivolous and all that shit that's what you're worried about okay well you ain't got shit to worry about right so you know people desiring you know also a lot of desire for family um desire for one's parents you know desires for drugs let me just tell you that okay um, there's gonna be, you know, a lot of people, you know, taking on addictions. I did say that a lot of people starting families, people you never thought oh, would settle down and get married. They're gonna be getting married because people's, you know, values are changing. So, you know, some people, you know, they valued partying it up. Now they're gonna want to settle down. Some people they believe in, they believed in, you know, settling down. Now they want to party it up. You know, let me just tell you that. And so it, it, it can be a confusing time because let me tell you something. Um, the shoe is going to be on the other foot. It's going to be, yo, it's going to be, I'm just, I'm just seeing that shit right now. It's just going to be ludicrous. But it's going to be sweet for a lot of you. A lot of you is going to be sweet justice. And it's tricky it's starting within this fourth month. Yeah, because the fourth house is being influenced by Libra. Justice. And this Scorpio full moon within the fourth month being in the, being influenced by, you know, um, Libra. Yeah, look out for, you know, concrete evidence of, you know, karmic justice in and around the full moon in Scorpio. A lot of new beginnings. A lot of you, a lot of, you know, sudden sex, you know. And, you know, for a lot of you, you know, there's, there are going to be lots of one-night stands. But I'm going to advise against that. Though, I, 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 I don't know, could be to the benefit of some of you. Some of these one-night, you know, uh, sex um, encounters, sexual encounters, you know, one-night sexual en encounters, they are going to... Uh, um, be transformed into long-term relationships, long-term contracts, long-term marriages, okay? Long-term uh, cohabiting or cohabitation. So, yeah. People are going to be developing new addictions and so on and so forth. A lot of usury, a lot of people desiring to use people. So I said be careful, okay? Let me just move on to, um, I feel like a lot of people are going to get sudden engagements, you know, even, you know, especially during and around the full moon, a lot of strange and shocking shit going to be happening. But like I said, a lot of these marriages are business related. 
And this could be, you know, with people you work with, have worked with, people who you are going to work with, okay? Or people you desire to work with. That's where them relationships are going to, you know, be formed. So we also got uh, Mars. Let me look at Mars. You know, it's going to transit Cancer, the frequency of Cancer, equal 23. That's tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow's Friday. Won't you look at that? So Cancer is the fourth frequency. The fourth house uh, is in Libra, okay? And, you know, Mars enters cancer tomorrow, so people are going to be in their feelings. I am emotional. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm just saying, most of y'all. And Friday, you know, that's ruled by Libra, you know, Dies Veneris, okay? That's Libra in frequency. Woo! And uh, the full moon is the 27th, I said. So tomorrow, that's four days from the full moon. A lot of you, you know, coming tomorrow, you, some of you may already feel this, these frequencies coming on. You feeling passionate, whatever your passions are. I guess I was led to do that passions video um, when I did it at the right time. But a lot of you are going to be feeling passionate or feel it's the, the, the right time to express how you really feel about certain things, yeah? So the full moon is going to be a very emotional let me see, because Scorpio is a water sign, okay, and I talked about them, Scorpios, you go and listen about them, okay, they can take things way too personal, but a lot of people are going to feel, you know, to, you know, relate tomorrow, a lot of people are going to feel like going out tomorrow, getting itch tomorrow, elope tomorrow, um, and, you know, tomorrow may trigger, you know, the beginning of um, some of these, you know, wild sexual encounters that I, you know, I previously mentioned and in other videos, okay? So, there's there strong urge right now to communicate about, you know, these systems, families, you know, what's, what's going on now? that Taurus second house frequency that is strongly impacting your life, whether it's your work, um, your family, a grandparent, your beauty, your possessions, um, your value system, yeah, your prestige, whatever it is, your prestige, whatever it is, you feel like you're talking about it now, whether it is in, you feel like communicating to a, uh, about a job now, um, but I feel like, you know, Maybe for some of you who have communicated about your job, you're going to get a response tomorrow. And I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to be favorable, okay? You know, getting Leo, Cancer, and Libra frequency. And those are beautiful frequencies, okay? That's a frequency for tomorrow, all right? A lot of people will be feeling the urge also to travel, Okay, so coming out of, the, out of the urge to talk, to communicate, to love, to wanting love and communication, um, you are going to step into that frequency of wanting to feel and to express, you know, what it was that you really wanted to talk about. Now you're going to be able to formalize and put the words together, uh, formulating sentences and conversations. Um, of what it is you really wanted to say, right? Some of you are going to develop that, you know, liberal public persona, outgoing, you know, expression of feelings. You're going to be able to express yourself to this person, to these people, to this in, this institution, this system, this, you yeah? family of yours, this grandparent, okay? 
a lot of you are going to feel the urge to travel, okay? Some people will be transitioning uh, tomorrow. There's going to be a beginning of transitioning, death, that is to say, from one uh, state of being to the next. Okay? As well as Saturday. I'm getting strongly moon in Virgo. So a lot of you could feel, you know, sudden urge to just travel, up and travel, travel overseas, okay, travel to see your mother, okay, some of you may lose a mother tomorrow, okay, for some of you a wife, for some of you a house. And getting, you know, someone's house burning on fire tomorrow, burning. Okay, this could, you know, be what is going to prompt you to flee or travel, I don't know. Um, what else? I am annoyed at these fucking noisy people outside, you know? Okay, let me go on to read what I wanted to read earlier in regards to the full moon. I was writing some stuff down so I would not forget. So, signs, I wrote this down. Signs are, that are going to be strongly impacted by this upcoming full moon in Scorpio. we got Virgo, Leo, Virgo Sun, Leo Sun, um, Scorpio Sun, Cancer Sun, Libra Sun, Aries Sun, Taurus Sun. We've got Libra Moon. Libra, um, we've got Libra Moon, Moon in Cancer, Moon in Virgo, Moon in Leo, Moon in Aries, okay? So pretty much the repeated frequencies, um, in, in, in Moon placement, okay? Except for, I guess, I didn't get Moon in Taurus, but it doesn't mean that you won't be strongly in, impacted, okay? So, the full moon, uh, April 27th, 2021, uh, on the day, Dies Martis, day of Aries is Tuesday, ruled by Aries the God, frequencies of that day leading up to completion, completion of a cycle, controls and new beginnings, okay? So the topic is controls and new beginnings, okay? As well as, you know, um, that topic that I got from May, because this is gonna, these, these frequencies are gonna ripple into uh, May, all right? So we've got um, Pale Horse, Death for All, the beginning. And that was, that's the title for the May 21 uh, Frequency Spiritual Guidance video. Um, and this is going to be leading up to that, okay? Um, after death comes life, new beginnings, okay? So there's going to be a swap of power, sudden transformations, I said that, sudden deaths on all levels. Mental level, financial level, physical level, uh, prestigious uh, level, um, reputable level, um, as long as it's a transformation or a death, okay? A lot of people will be contracting STIs as well, that too is a death, a lot of sex, sudden sex. I said that, taboo sex, you know, um, yeah, a lot of that, T yeah, detached sex, so sudden urges and desires as well, uh, there will be sudden urges and desires, I said that a while ago, strong sexual urges, okay, manifestations of desires as well for those deserving, okay, so, um, I 
I did say that Aries is a you know magician, right? Um, if having the right balance in our frequencies, okay, and using them for good. But you know, if you're gonna you know try to destroy someone Aries while it's building yourself, I'm telling you it's not gonna work. All right, come across too many Aries who abuse their power, and it never worked out in their favor. So manifestations of desires as well as for those deserving. As well for those who uh, deserve it. Do you guys get what I just said? Manifestations of desires as well for those deserving. Okay, so if you're deserving of your desires being manifested, you're going to see that. Okay? The full moon represents, you know, that's if you pay the bruja, you feel me? Full moon represents a cup uh, to you, to you. <laughs> I'm talking about, you know, few Aries people who like to think that you're smart and trick people. Um, the full moon represents a cup that is full. And being, you know, full in Scorpio simply means a peak in our desires and urges for whatever they may be for each of us, okay? Because we each have these different desires and different urges, okay? Very beautiful uh, that the fourth month transit in Libra just ushers in death transformation after a verdict verdict verdicts they change people things and situations with justice therefore comes death and death isn't always you know to our demise you know if, if you transition from rags to riches you die that's a form of death you know if you you know i just had you know sex whether it was awesome or lame you, you just died. You had a little death. And so death is just you, your frequencies being shifted and changed. Okay? And, you know, sometimes that shifting of frequencies and, and, and change, uh, changing of frequencies, it makes you into a different person in some way, shape, or form. All right? If you just observe and take note, you would realize. So these shifting in frequencies, they, they do... Um, they do kill us. As long as it changes us in some way, shape, or form, it's murder. It's death. <laughs> okay, so uh, full moon in Scorpio cup is full. Okay, so even you know you may get you know a lot of um. For some of you, hate because you may be on fleek. If you got your seventh house in you know, um. Scorpio. Okay, that Venus in Scorpio, but it's not the second house Venus in Scorpio. It's the, you know, it, it's, it's the seventh house Venus being in, in Scorpio, okay? So, you know, you're going to be very, you're going to see it as very desirable because it's like you rule that Scorpio frequency with your public persona. So, that's geared towards Virgo sun, okay? Your public persona is one of desire and allure. And, you know, sexuality, you, you come off as very sexual and a lot of people feel intimidated and, you know, inferior because of that. All right. I'm going to encourage you not to allow them to, you know, um, cramp your style. Okay. Beyond fleek because most of you are, you know, um, modest, though you may dress really um, sexual. You know, a lot of you are humble, you know, but... It is people who wish that they had your attractiveness, your beauty, and your sexuality, your confidence, your form. It is them, you know, who is, you know, who has got a problem with sex. You feel me? It's what I've always noticed. It's never the ones who are actually doing it's the one ones who are watching, you know. And so you may get a lot of hate from people during that time. Because you're going to be on fleek. And, you know, your, your moon sign. Your moon sign, you know, it's, it's Leo. Okay? And with that being said, you know, fourth house we are in, being in, influenced by Libra, very beautiful, you know, Venusian frequency. And hold on, guys.
Okay, I'm back. So, um, a lot of you are gonna be, you know, getting justice where, you know, your image, your ego is concerned. So for some of you who are not, you know, very manipulative, you're gonna be feeling really confident during this time. You're gonna be feeling very confident uh, during this time because you, you're gonna receive a physical transformation or upgrade to your physical form. And this is gonna make you very attractive and alluring, okay? And you know, for you know, those of you Virgo sons who have been, you know, uh, your physical form has been, you know, heavily manipulated by witchcraft and sorcery, you're gonna get justice for that. You're gonna get beauty for ashes, okay? For all them pain, because I know Virgos you tend to go through a lot as well as uh Pisces rising. Okay, you tend to go through a lot. And, you know, I realize that's because I realize that when you're nice, this world, it, it chews you up and it it, 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 it it deals with you really horrible. And you would think that it's the horrible ones that get dealt with, you know, horribly, you know, but nah, it's far from the truth. Okay, and so I find that Virgos, because they love to help people and they care so much, a lot of people tend to, you know, take a uh, advantage of them and abuse them so I know you guys have been through a lot and you know people tend to hate on you and you know be very envious all right but that's because you got what they want okay and you're gonna be receiving justice you're one of them signs that's gonna receive justice okay Leo signs yours is more of a you know it depends because you can never tell with you Leos, you know? So with you guys, it's more like it depends on how you were in a previous cycle. Alright? So it depends. For those who are, who are being, you know, heavily manipulated by, you know, external forces and entities, you're going to receive justice for that. Alright? And the condemnation and the judgment is going to return. It's going to go to those who try to deceive you into doing the wickedness that you did but you are going to receive justice for that confusion that you were you know under okay so yeah that's what i got for you guys in regards to the full moon in scorpio that is you know uh basically upon us gonna be another five days before it's here, that's next week, Tuesday. Alright, let me stay.